It's episode 59 of the FIFA 22 Rage Career Mode, and here it is, the first old form of the season. I brought Celtic, of course, they're only on three points here, possible six with one, both our games, but che much changed team for us, of course, you know, since uh, last season. A lot of players, I mean, Jack, Roof, Tav, Barisic, Aguero, I mean, albeit Aguero had like a, a seven game career. You know, we signed him in February and he was gone in like the start of May. You know, but we're still including him in there, he's about a star power, but we are here. Morelos and Kent, I believe, missed that uh, last old firm of the season. Well, Morelos missed actually quite a few fucking old firms last season, and hopefully he doesn't get any near enough as many injuries this season. But Morelos finds Ryan Kent, but how is Welsh keeping up with Kent? I don't know, but it's to the back post, it's Martinelli! Almost got on it. Morelos flicks it through, Aribo! Starfelt can't get anywhere near him! Aribo! Top right hand corner, Starfelt is shit! For it, the start of the real life season, and I think a wee bit less now, you know. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, Joe Aribo making it 1 0 in the ninth minute. And uh, I'm telling you what, I was thinking there, could Martinelli and a decent amount of money bring in Erlen Haaland or uh, Kylian Mbappe? Like, that would be a, that would be a game changer, but Larson just gets past his man, Martinelli, Dos Santos now. I don't believe Martinelli's name is Dos Santos, but the Dos Santos, the youngster from Brazil. This is probably like Thiago Silva's regen or something. But Dos Santos! Fucking hell, man. Centre back make a run like that, cutting in and shooting. And it's through to Dembele. Karaoke with Matt Hommels does not nowhere near have the pace of getting back here. But he does have the defending ability to delay Celtic's attack. I mean, that was brilliant. It really was. Two bits of crucial block. Patterson starting. His first game for probably seems like a while for Nathan, but he's up to 72 rating as the ball slipped through. And how the fuck did he get that away, man? Davy Turnbull has levered that. I believe he got a hat trick in the last game of last season against us, and look at the fuck. There was no saving that. Morelos, brilliant play between him and Joe Rebo. Alfredo, drill back, and it's into the net. It's Giannis Hadji. Nah, see, see those ones, like, with the RBAs in? Like, if you get the shot on target, it's going to be incredibly hard. For the goalie to save it, it's no Joe Hart. But I mean, look at this, Morelos burst the pace. Another wee bit, drills it, first time hit. I mean, if the goalie doesn't already fall back before the shot's been hit, he might do it better. Loves a goal against Celtic, Alfredo Morelos! Celtic passing the ball in nice, Dembele tries to do it smart. So oh, fuck, man, that was like a two foot tackle there. And Dos Santos, can he lead a counter attack? Martinelli drills it. Into Kent, he flicks over the top to Giannis Haji. Haji, 3 1. Denny and Brentford wanted this guy, no chance. Kent unleashes Gabriel Martinelli, Anthony Ralston, can he get anywhere near the young Brazilian? And it's 4 1 in Celtic, Rita and Weep Sad. And it's through to Gina Rett. Martinelli, oh, good defending. From our left mid, Aribo unleashes Morelos. Lilic, can he get? Can he make it 5 1? We sweat it. Oh, he has passed the goalie. He ends up bumming the goalie in the process. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, it was, we fucking tripped into him. Um, but yeah, 5 1 here again. I mean, look at this. Too easy. Celtic going for it, but slide it across. <laughs> fucking boom. Oh, what's a bad tackle there. Who was that? Was that Matt Hummels? It was Matt Hummels, the captain. <laughs> Almost good night. Davy Turnbull, 30 yards up. Three of them lining up. Davy Turnbull goes for a goal, and it's just nowhere near. And then it's a full time whistle, guys. Rangers 5, Celtic 1. Pretty comprehensive result in the end. I mean, Celtic is not really offering much. Probably the weakest old firm they've played in a while. Normally they beat us. 
or at least they're all like, you know, it's like a four each, three each draw, but not the day. Ross County draws St Mirren, the old new farm. Dundee United win and Hibs also beat Dundee. But let's see what's up next. If Martinelli's leaving us up, but we're back to Champions League action. You know what? I'm actually going ahead and accept that. I know he's like I know he's like acting club captain, but I think 15 million for a 35 year old is only 81 rate. It's pretty good, like you know, and you can bring in a bunch of youngsters for that. That's a I think that's a pretty good deal. Like, be interested to see if Matt Hummels goes, but uh, Midgieland up next. Big Pierre Joe, hopefully hasn't went yet. Hummels we need to bring in a replacement. Well, fuck, actually, a replacement or two. I think Hummels will be playing. Look at the fitness. Fitness is shocking. And the first leg against Midgieland. Ah, it's a 1-0 win, Ryan Kent with the goal of 64. My leg just cracked it. Almost felt like it was going to fall off. But will Hummels leave? Is Martinelli leaving? I'm more intrigued to know if Martinelli's leaving. And transfer talks between Hummels and HSD. Who's got broken down? Villarreal, though, they want William Saliba. They are offering Javier on Tvaros. No, it's just a fucking weird offer, isn't it? Fucking fairy weird offer, but you know what? I want it, Ronaldo, man. The guy's retiring. Really dead. And 2 0 and Kent with two goals there against Hearts. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, these deals aren't exactly coming through. But I have seen, I think it is the region of, um, the region of Luka Modric. Honestly, I think it is. So we're going to probably try and get him for us, but West Ham want Peter, but we're keeping Joanne. He keeps on messaging me like, I thought you were worried about it, I you me a little bit. And I'm like, no mate, we didn't, we didn't think about it. But he doesn't want to believe it, does not want to believe it, but I mean, these two guys. I'm going to start scouting them, actually, I, I'm kind of intrigued to see how fucking hang they are. But this is definitely looking like Modric's regen, you can just tell. Delegate signing, I do want this guy, you know, the regens are what. Make the money, but yeah, 25 grand. I think he should accept that. Definitely. Uh, and next up with Majorland. Here, player returns for injury. Wonder who that could be. Probably a uh, Merich or whatever the fuck he's called. Uh, yep, Tomic. Uh, Leon want to sign Alfredo. You know what? Like, I never sign Morelos in career modes, but he's 80. He's not getting any better. I'm gonna delegate this, right? Not for fuck's sake. Right, Morelos. Uh, we'll start at 30, which is nine more than what they're offering, and we won't sell them for less than 25. But like I say, I mean his potential's done. In previous FIFA's not you could get him up to like a high 80s this year. I think it's probably the injuries that's fucked him in this career mode. But yeah, so there we go. Let's put Morelos in there. So 25 would be the minimum. But we do have um, Measureland. Which won't really matter, because, uh, let's see here. Fuck, fitness issue galore, isn't it? It really fucking is. Mm. I mean, do you bite the bullet and fucking go with this? I mean, no, fuck it, you bite the bullet and you go with that. Uh, that's, that's it, your group stage is a Champions League. Right there. The Rangers, 3 1 win. And that is what you like to see, and hopefully we can get this Luka Modric regen. It's all you want. It's all you're wanting. It's half you have offered 13 million for him. We're just gonna go ahead and reject all these offers. Uh, Sakala. Nah, I mean if we get rid of Morelos, we're gonna need someone else. Even though we do have quite. Oh, fuck, we could have just got those youngsters in, man. Really shit. Um, Max disappointed we left him. Out. Mate, we're into the Champions League group stages. Except that Rangers. Peretz has accepted his offer. Brilliant. Uh, transfer hub, let's accept that. Boom. 74 rated, 19 years of age. That's a belter of a player right there. Uh, but we'll take a quick look at the calendar and we'll be able to see our Champions League group, which is Barcelona, Inter, and Lokomotiv Moscow. Of course, uh, Lokomotiv Moscow just get booted out the game because they uh, God damn it, Flatty Daddy, what you doing? But we've got 10 hours of the transfer window here. Um, be interesting to see what's going on. Pulo, a 40. It's a good offer for Saliba, like, but we're going to go ahead and reject it. He's young, I mean, he is literally our centre, I mean, you know, DeSantos as well, but we have to, you have to reject it. We 
can't just accept. I mean, they probably want to try and replace Van Dyke. Amrelos ain't joining Leon, but I tell you what, I'm going to have a look at Mbappe. Because a wee, a wee Martinelli and a wee 50 million there for Kylian Mbappe, it could happen. Could very well happen. Uh, how do you spell Mbappe's name? He's got such a fucking jobber name. All right, fuck, I'm, where is he? There he is. Right, fuck, release clause 100 and... He's a 95 rating. Um, approach the buy. This will be interesting. Very, very interesting. How much are they going to want for Kelly and Mbappe? Right, so we're going to midfielders. No, we don't have midfielders. With Gabriel Martinelli. Submit a transfer fee of 50 million. So 50 million and Gabriel Martinelli. What are they going to say? Is Mbappe joining? No. Um, they they want two hundred and thirty six million plus Martinelli. I'm sorry, mate, but that's just no happening. <laughs> well, Scotland's worth two hundred and thirty six fucking million. <laughs> On one draw against Hibs, as the transfer window in the guys, nothing really happening. But next up, I believe it was, was it Barca. I believe it is. It might not be Barca. Then if we're getting that wee graphic, but. Yeah, we've a away game against Dundee, and <laughs> an equally as hard away game against Barcelona at the new camp. Of course not. Of course, Dundee's harder. Right, I'm sorry, get sorry, all the Dundee fans out there. But anyway, tell episode sixty, it's a big one. Barcelona, new camp. We're back in the Champions League, the group stages. Till then, peace.